The U.S.-China space race has officially taken off, with Beijing announcing manned missions to Mars ahead of NASA and SpaceX. China plans to launch its first manned mission to Mars in 2033, according to the country's leading rocket manufacturer, as part of the country's bold move to start massive-scale development of the Red Planet, raising tensions with the United States as the two race to become the world's dominant power in space. Keep watching until the end of the video to find out detailed plans of China for their Mars mission and to see if they are really capable of becoming successful. According to a recent announcement, a crewed trip to Mars will be launched by China in 2033, 2035, 2037, 2041, and 2043. The Chinese Academy of Launch Vehicle Technologies Director, Wang Xiaoyang, announced this during a press conference. According to Wang, China eventually plans to establish a strong foothold on Mars and develop its resources on a massive scale, with a fleet of spacecraft traveling between there and Earth. However, before the crewed missions, robotic missions will explore possible base positions, study the surface, and create resource extracting equipment. China intended to be a part of the International Space Station, and they were ready to pay and work for it. That along with a bit of fear from certain ISS program participants, effectively kept China off the station. However, many questioned China's ability to manufacture and maintain spaceworthy capsules during the ISS's design and construction. And the final nail in the coffin was when the U.S. Congress enacted legislation prohibiting China from participating. In response, China says, fine then, we'll do it ourselves, and went on to develop its space station in under a decade despite Western trade sanctions. This feat will ratchet up the space competition between Washington and Beijing, following a series of successful Chinese space flights, including one in which China became the only non-US country to fully deploy a Martian rover and fly three humans to its new Tiangong space station in July 2020. NASA, the United States Space Agency, is also investing in research required to take people to Mars by the 2030s. But with the speed at which they are innovating, the Chinese might beat the US to this one. China has often publicly announced its intention to become a world leader in space, along with intentions to create a moon base with Russia, build its space station to compete with the International Space Station, launch a satellite network to compete with the US government-owned GPS, and pursue military dominance in space. And so far, China has had a lengthy list of accomplishments. In fact, China just flew three astronauts to the country's new space station, establishing itself as a prominent player in the ongoing space race. On Wednesday, Chinese President Xi Jinping talked with astronauts who are scheduled to stay abroad for three months and called the creation of China's space station a milestone for the country's space sector. However, China's ambitions appear to just be getting started. The Asian powerhouse plans to collect samples from asteroids near Earth in a few years. They also plan to land its first people on the moon by 2030 and send probes to Mars and Jupiter to collect samples. China had recently stepped up its efforts to explore deep space, launching its innovative Tianwen-1 mission to Mars in July, just a few days before the United States launched its Perseverance rover. Given that just around half of all previous Mars landing attempts were unsuccessful, China's successful Mars landing was no simple undertaking. China's Mars sample return mission seeks to gather samples from Mars and return them to Earth in 2031, two years ahead of NASA and the European Space Agency's collaborative mission. Sun Zezhu, the lead designer of the Mars rover mission and Tianwen-1 Mars orbiter, unveiled a new mission plan for China's Mars sample return mission on June 20th, outlining plans for a two-launch strategy, taking off in late 2028 and returning specimens to Earth by July 2031. Compared to the collaborative NASA ESA effort, the complicated multi-launch expedition will have a simpler design, with a single Martian landing and no rover sampling multiple locations. Moreover, if accomplished, it would send the first retrieved Martian samples to Earth, a milestone well recognized as one of the major scientific objectives of deep space exploration. On the other hand, NASA said in March that it would postpone the next stage of its Mars sample return expedition and split a landing mission into two unique spacecraft to minimize the program's overall risk. Tianwen-3, China's mission, will comprise two components, a lander, an ascent vehicle, and an orbiter and return module. The pairings will take off individually on Long March 5 and Long March 3B rockets. The expedition to Mars is scheduled for September 2029. Surface sampling, drilling, and mobile intelligence sampling, and maybe with the assistance of a four-legged robot, will be among the sample techniques employed. 
The presentation states that the Ascension vehicle must attain a velocity of 4.5 kilometers per second in two phases while employing either liquid or solid propulsion. After rendezvousing and connecting with the waiting orbiter, the space shuttle will exit Mars orbit in late October 2030, returning to Earth in July 2031. China's Tianwen-1 expedition, which arrived on Mars earlier this year and successfully landed its Mars rover last month, has made China one of just three countries to land a spacecraft on Mars successfully. China, like other countries, regards Mars exploration as the preferred destination for deep space exploration. Wang Xiaojun, the head of the state-run China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, stated, Wang's three-pronged strategy for human Mars exploration comprises robotic exploration, first human exploration, and regular human expeditions. Wang said that China aims to establish a base on Mars and a large-scale Earth-to-Mars transportation fleet as part of the plan. He closed his speech by encouraging worldwide collaboration in deep space exploration. We are willing to join hands with our counterparts and partners all over the world to realize the dream of mankind going to deep space and walking on Mars, he said. But aside from some of which we've mentioned earlier in this video, what are China's space achievements so far? China put its first satellite into orbit in 1970, even as it went through massive turmoils caused by the Cultural Revolution. The only other powers to have gone into space by that point were the US, the Soviet Union, France, and Japan. In the past 10 years, China has launched more than 200 rockets. It has already sent an unmanned mission to the moon called Chang'e 5 to collect and return rock samples. In addition, it planted a Chinese flag on the lunar surface, which was deliberately bigger than the previous US flags. With the launch of Shenzhou-14, China has now put 14 astronauts into space, compared with 340 by the US and more than 130 by the Soviet Union. But there have been setbacks. In 2021, part of a Chinese rocket tumbled out of orbit and crashed into the Atlantic Ocean, and two launches failed in 2020. According to the official Chinese media, Chinese scientists have presented a space project to study the universe with a space-borne telescope in search of livable Earth-like planets outside of our solar system, approximately 32 light-years from Earth. If executed, the close-by habitable exoplanet survey project would be the first space mission specifically developed to hunt for habitable terrestrial worlds around neighboring sun-like stars, according to the report. Exploring habitable planets outside the solar system is an essential frontier of fundamental astronomical research. The CHES will conduct a long-term inspection of around 100 sun-like stars 32 light-years away in hopes of discovering 50 Earth-like planets or super-Earths, planets that have up to about 10 times the mass of our planet Earth. The CHES will provide critical answers to questions like, are we alone in the universe? And how can planets become the cradle of life? Zhi Jiangu is a lead scientist of the CHES mission and a research professor at the Chinese Academy of Sciences Purple Mountain Observatory. According to Zhi, over 5,000 exoplanets have already been discovered and clarified so far, including approximately 50 Earth-like planets in the habitable zone. Still, the majority of them are hundreds of light years away from Earth. The China National Space Administration is the People's Republic of China's government organization overseeing civil space administration and international space cooperation, in addition to organizing or directing foreign exchanges and partnerships in the aerospace field. It is headquartered in Haidian, Beijing, and reports to the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. So what do you think about the space race between China and the US? Do you think China will be the first to reach Mars with its astronauts? Share your thoughts in the comment section below.